Hi lovelies and welcome to the Witch's Cookery. Today I would like to share three super simple spells with you that you can use to bring some magical sparkle into your life regardless if you are a seasoned practitioner or a beginner witch. The spells are all performed with simple ingredients and tools that you can easily find around your home without having to have a huge witchy stash of secret ingredients and occult knickknacks. As always you can adjust and tweak every spell as you see fit to make it match your personal goal, style or abilities. As we are performing these three spells aimed to bring success, happiness and tranquility into your life, we will also have a look at the different techniques on how spells can be performed. In this video I will share more about spell bags, candle spells and enchantments of personal items with you. In general a spell can be broken down into three simple steps. Deciding on a goal, usually called your intention, aka the purpose of the spell, envisioning the outcome, using a method that works well for you, and then focusing your will to manifest the result into reality. While all of these three steps can be performed simply in your head without any witchery involved, a crafted spell can be used as a valuable tool to guide you through each of the steps and tie something more tactile or memorable to it. So one could describe a spell as a wish or desire encapsulated in a petition, act sentence, object or activity. And it is your first step to making your dreams a reality, bring change or growth or solve a problem. Beliefs in the witchcraft community are as diverse and different as the people that practice. Some might believe that a spell works through energies or vibrations being sent out into the universe or through deities or spirit beings that grant your wishes or skeptical practitioners might just see it as a psychological tool to reach your goals and manifest your desires. I personally believe that how we act, interact, perceive and receive is directly impacted by our mindset and innermost beliefs of what is possible or impossible, what we are worthy of deserving or what seems out of reach due to limiting beliefs. So I use and assign my spells to help me to strengthen positive affirmations and dissolve inner mental blockages or negative affirmations by using intention and certain tools or ingredients to focus my intention and let it sink into my subconscious. Depending on what belief you support, you might also feel more or less strongly that it is not so much about exact equipment and ingredients, but mainly about the clear intention behind the spell. Meaning that you are very certain of the purpose or desired outcome of the spell and the rest might just seem like embellishment. That is why spells can look very simple and even be performed without any tools. But maybe you might also feel like the more energy you put into planning or arranging certain ingredients ingredients, the more energy you will get out of it in the end. Whatever your personal feelings on this, find a way and believe that works for you and have enchanted, magical fun. Spell bags are a wonderful, simple yet effective way to work everyday magic. They are a type of talisman and are very versatile and practical way of creating magic that is transportable and can be taken with you, carried on your person or left in a certain location, for example for home protection spells. Spell bags generally employ the use of simple container spells. A container spell is a spell whose content are held together and bound in by some form of container, in this case a bag. Culturally, this practice is at home in many different folk practices around the world. Think of hex bags, African-American mojo bags, Native American medicine bags, African grigris, European herbal magic and even the flourishing trade with fake relics sawn into small cloth bags for protection magic during the medieval ages. Usually a bag or a sachet is filled with magical ingredients which can be different objects with magical purpose, crystals or herbs, inscribed papers and then it is usually tied with a certain color ribbon, stitched shut, tied in with knot magic, adorned with meaningful embroidery or inscriptions and so on. Personally I love to make herbal spell bags specifically for the purpose where I can match magical and medicinal properties to the plants to have double the magic help. The spell bag I am showing you now can be used as an anti-anxiety spell to carry with you in situations that might trigger anxious, nervous, stressful or uneasy feelings. But you could also use it as a spell
yourself a restful sleep if you put it underneath your pillow at night. Now what precise herbs you put in there will also depend on your personal preferences and what is available to you. Some people just really don't like lavender but might have great results with a fresh and calming scent of lemon balm. My tip is to look up which herbs support the goal you are after, both from a mundane and magical point of view and then just mix and match what feels right. Don't worry or overthink too much, unless you put something poisonous in there, there's basically nothing that can go wrong. Well, and of course the herbs have to be completely dry because you don't want mold to grow in there. After the spell bag is filled with the herbal mixture, I like to work my intentions for the spell in there too. You can simply do so by taking a string, think of using a color that is calming and tying knots in it, mindfully using every knot to tie in one desire. For example, I am staying calm and collected, I am staying grounded, my head is calm, my heart is calm. Or if you use this for a sleeping spell, I am sleeping through the night, my sleep is restful, my dreams are pleasant and inspiring. Enchantments of all sorts are one of the simplest and oldest forms of magic. When looking into historical finds from different cultures, we know that enchanting talismans, papers, household items, books or even people was all the rage. Personally, I often use them when performing glamour spells by wearing enchanted jewelry. Enchantments are also very popular for charms placed onto talismans or symbolic items to give protection to the one wearing them. The following spell I designed to draw positivity and happiness your way and help you gain or maintain a positive outlook on life or to lift your mood. Happiness spells are an absolute treasure to help you be more successful in life or to get you out of a slump on particularly grey days. All you need for the spell is an object to place your enchantment on. I recommend maybe a piece of jewelry or, if you have them available, a crystal that is small enough to be carried on your person. Personally, I don't use crystals in my craft as I never really connected to them except for finding them pretty to look at, but commonly people seem to like using citrine, carnelian, rose quartz and yellow jasper when working magic around happiness and contentment. Any other small personal object that you associate with happy feelings will work too. Now we will enchant the item and infuse it with powerful, energizing and uplifting solar energies. I feel this spell works best when I perform it in a quiet moment during a sunny day as this already creates a positive and uplifting environment and naturally brightens my mood. But don't worry if it's a rainy day or nighttime, just use cozy candlelight instead. I start by taking a moment for myself, sitting in the sun while holding the object in my hand. With my eyes closed, I let the bright sun rays warm my face and heart, taking a moment to reflect on what I'm grateful for in this very moment. Things big and small, the blue of the cloudless sky, the ability to sit for just a minute in peace, the scent of summer flowers, the blessing to live in such a beautiful corner of the universe, and so on. With the intention of happiness on my mind, I now envision the warmth of the sun traveling through my body like a golden light, flowing down into my arm and hand and pouring into the item, carrying those feelings of positivity and gratitude with it. I imagine the item being charged with that golden light of positivity until a faint glow seems to radiate from it. Now my talisman is enchanted and I can carry it with me, taking it in my hand and remembering that peaceful, happy moment and the grateful thoughts whenever I feel I need a boost of happiness. One of the most common types of spell that a beginner witch might encounter is probably candle magic. It is easy to see why candles have such an attraction for magic loving folks. A match lit in quiet ritual, the flickering light on a dancing flame in the dark room and a feeling of sacred purpose. All feels and sounds very magical. Plus, candle spells are usually very simple and straightforward to do. A lot of times candles find their way into divinatory magic. Scrying candle flames, smoke or wax drippings are popular ways to do so and find answer or guidance on big themes or current questions in your life. But in practice they are basically used for any type of magic and are a great tool to help you focus your intention in mindful meditation and spell work. Candles have and still have their religious or ritualistic significance in many cultures and beliefs. Especially Catholic countries know the use of votive candles in prayer, usually dedicated to a specific saint to help with a certain wish or desire. But blessing candles or devoting them to a certain petition and outcome or divine representation of it is done all over the world, which in essence is very similar to candle magic. If you're interested in some traditional candle magic and folk witchcraft customs from Germany, check out this year's Imbolg vlog for some in-depth information. Oftentimes candles of different colors are used for different purposes.
purposes or goals. Sigils, words, names or wishes might be carved into the wax. One can anoint a candle with spell oil or dress it in herbs or bless and dedicate a candle to a specific purpose, person, outcome or deity. All of this is optional and in no way mandatory. Especially when dedicating a candle to one specific spell, a lot of people prefer to let it burn down during the duration of the spell and only use it for that one time. If you want to do that too, it might be advisable to use small candles with a short burning duration, for example birthday cake candles. Especially if I assign a specific candle to a spell that I repeat often. I personally will never let it burn out but just keep reusing it for the duration of my spell, meditation or ritual. Here I am performing a success spell that you could use for different situations when you just need a little magical extra boost to get what you want. Might it be for a job interview, new business endeavor, negotiation and so on. All you need is pen and paper and a small candle. I recommend one that doesn't burn longer than an hour. Now again you can make the spell as simple or as elaborate as you like. For example you could match the color of the candle to one that represents success for you or success in a specific field. Personally I would probably choose green for financial success, light blue for success in communication, pink or red for success in love and so on. You start by lighting the candle and taking the time to think about your intention for this spell. Imagine how success will look like for your specific situation. Then hold your hands over the candle and assign or devote it to this purpose. You can do so by speaking the words out loud or simply doing so in your thoughts. Then you need a bit of imagination. Take your pen and paper and while looking into the bright flickering flame of the candle, imagine your spell has already worked and you achieved your goal. Take the time it takes the candle to burn down to daydream and write down in detail how you are feeling now that you were successful and what exactly happened. Don't spare details, really paint a vivid picture of how well and successful everything will go. Once you feel you have put all the positive affirmation mental images on paper folded up then take the last candle wax and seal your spell paper with it. You can now carry it with you and let the magic and Fold. I hope this gave you some magical spell inspiration for your own witchcraft practice and helps you bring happiness, calm and success into your life. I wish you a most enchanting day and see you soon!